right so in the previous tutorial we have seen uh, how to add references to your latex file and uh, now let's see uh, how we can add uh, acronyms as well so acronyms is uh, let's say if your document contains uh, some sort of uh, specific uh, you know technical term then uh, you can uh, specify it as an acronym and uh, that acronym can be reusable throughout your entire document instead of uh, mentioning the same thing again and again so that's the use of uh, uh, acronym so maybe uh, i will create a new chapter called uh, let's name this as acronyms right um uh, so acronyms uh in order to use that acronym first we have to uh, import a specific uh, package as well so let's go to the top of our document uh, and after maybe references let's said <coughs> so let's add a new package called uh, Acronym, and uh, we need the automatic option as well. Actually, yeah, these are options, right? These are options, and uh, the package is actually glossaries. So glossaries. Uh, this should be automatic. Okay. And uh, yeah, then uh, we can make. Uh, glossaries and now uh, we can specify uh, new acronym types right so for example I will uh, create a new acronym called uh, maybe let's say we have the term called OS and OS basically stand for the operating systems right operating systems and it's a uh, uppercase format will be always so this sort of a sentence or this sort of uh, segments will be acronyms and we can uh, construct acronyms uh, by using this glossaries package and uh, yeah now let's go to this chapter and maybe let's use this same sentence and uh, instead of this one let's try to yeah first let me build this one then show you uh what is this acronym is about right uh it will take some time because we are importing a new package as well so it needs to be downloaded so make sure you have a uh, proper internet connection as well and uh, yeah so let's let's make this thing for example let's say this is operating system and uh, this this word is basically operating system and yeah if you build it again uh, yeah yeah it will be that term right but uh, this is acronym right so instead of the defining our operating system like this uh, we can actually use uh, acr full command to get that uh, entire uh, acronym name over here so acr full and os is the label so it knows to point out this specific acronym to this specific uh, place Okay. Here now you can see that uh, this is an acronym, right? And you can click that out. But uh, yeah, currently we don't have any acronym page, but uh, we can make that as well. So let's do that over here. Uh, maybe after the list of code listings, we can build an acronym page as well. So. Acronym page, I would say. 
and let's go to a new page and let's print our glossary so print glossary and it follows the type of uh, acronym type right so acronym type this should be type and acronym type okay let's build this again so we will be having an acronym page okay uh so yeah we have this acronym page now so os operating systems and it has been uh, uh, cited over this page as well so you can simply click that out so it will be go to this page and if you even click this again it will go to this entire uh, acronym list right so that happens because of we are using that uh, hyperref package uh, so yeah this package uh, so it will automatically figure out those sort of links for us so it will be quite easier for the reader to uh, navigate through pages as well uh, so yeah make sure to use this package as well when you are constructing your comment page uh, but uh, yeah so now we have this uh, acronym short uh, acronym full thing likewise uh, you can mention acronym short as well so for example i will use this i will replace this lorem if something and uh, if you specify this as a full what will happen is that uh, we you will get that uh, operating system os entire word segment right uh, like this so now you have this uh, the same uh, acronym in two places but uh, it's better your first acronym is in the full format and your second acronym and other following acronyms uh, should be in the short format right because uh, when a reader is reading your publication he knows about this acronym now right then later on he only need to uh, understand uh, he only need to uh, we only need to mention this uh, specific uh, short acronym then a reader will be able to understand what is this is about so let me make this second acronym as SER short and let's build it again and okay yeah now we have this short acronym right so this is the full acronym and this is the short acronym but it points to the same acronym right so likewise uh, you can define whatever amount of acronyms you want so for example let's say if you are want to define a new acronym uh, maybe let's say uh, ram and capital format is ram and the text is actually uh, random access memory right then you can uh, mention this acronym here as well so for example let's say this thing is ram then uh, uh, you can simply mention ser maybe full because it's the first time that you are going to use this term so ser full will be there and let's build it again and uh, yeah now you can see here we have that uh, second acronym as well and if i click here uh, it will go to this page yeah i think navigation is not working quite correctly but uh, if when you are exporting it in the pdf format it will do the work but uh, yeah it's still not mentioning in this uh, list so we have to build it twice ok 
okay and uh, yeah now let's click this reference okay now we have that acronym mentioned in our acronym list as well right uh, so that's how uh, uh, we can use acronyms in latex and i will see you in the next video thank you